So movement systems impairment process is a little bit different than what a lot of people learn in either athletic training or physical therapy. The normal is to do various tests on different body parts and then try to put those pieces together to inform them about how or why someone moves the way they do. Whereas movement systems impairment looks at the movement first, and then that guides you to the testing to figure out why they're moving the way they are. So we've kind of put a label or a description on how they're moving badly, if you will. And then that narrows our test down to, okay, well, there's only a handful of things that would cause that movement to be bad. So then we test those things. So it's almost like a backwards way of looking at a patient. We look at their movement first, pain or no pain, and then try to figure out why do they do that as opposed to, oh, my shoulder hurts.